Hello, Vortex. <laughs> this is my peony. I'm sitting in this rocking chair. I'm at this coffee shop after hours. I really like this light fixture setup. In case you guys are new to this channel, I'm kind of sort of obsessed with Christmas lights and I just really like these kinds of lights. They're really cool. Well, these aren't really Christmas lights. These are something else. I don't know what they're called, but they're fancy lights. They're, they're less ghetto than Christmas lights, but they're somewhat similar. But yeah, man. This coffee shop really isn't that good. Coffee shops are really, really overpriced. Like, you'll get a $5 coffee that's like this fucking tall. It's ridiculous. Like, if you go to some, like, random little coffee shop that, you know, is a small business. Everything's outrageously priced, but, you know, of course, if you go to some corporate, like, Dunkin' Donuts, you can get some, like, massive coffee for two dollars. But it really doesn't matter. People come to these coffee shops for the experience more than they come for the actual coffee itself, I think. It's more just to feel superior because you're sitting in a coffee shop doing your work, you know? Because I often will see people sitting outside in these little rocking chairs and picnic tables on their little laptops and uh, smartphones. Every once in a while I'll see somebody reading a, a book and I'll get really, really excited and think I'm hallucinating. I'll have to do a double take to make sure that person actually exists. But, um... I know there are some people that still believe in books. And I'm also not so cynical about the world that I, I think that, oh, I'm the only person that exists that still um, in favor of the old way of doing things. Just because you have a smartphone or a laptop, that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy books or conversations or whatever. We all know that there are those that are completely sucked into the digital world versus people that only participate in the digital world when they absolutely have to. You know, I'm one of those people. There's some really cool things about YouTube and there are some really cool things about the internet and all the technology that we have can be really useful, you know? I don't have any issue with the technology. Whenever I bitch about it, I'm not bitching about the technology. I'm bitching about the numbskulls that use it. People are not ready for that, which is exactly why they gave it to us, you know? Think about it, you can get a smartphone for free. You get it from the government. That should tell you right there that it's not a positive thing for humanity. Anything free is a bad thing. found it suspicious. Certain things they tell you to do. Or certain things they tell you to buy.
asking questions. Why am I a weirdo? All because I want to know what their intentions are. Why does that make me a conspiracy nut job? Pay attention to the timing. Why are they pushing this thing? Is this the only thing that they want me to think about, think about, think about, think about? Why do they think that I need this to survive this world? Why are they pushing this, trying to make me dependent? They want me to be retarded. Trying to retard me, make me cling, 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 cling to this thing, that thing. Without it, how would I exist? Without it. What do they insist? What do they insist? It's a genuine question with no answer, apparently.